Welcome back, everyone, to a bonus episode of Kitty Love, Way to Look for Love. So, we're doing the normal ending for Shogo Fujimoto. Um, yeah, we got through the previous eight episodes again, and we picked the wrong answer. <laughs> picked the wrong answers this time so we can get the normal end. But yeah, the context is that we're at the fancy luxury restaurant where Shogo is having the matchmaking meeting, and we just happen to be there on a bouquet delivery. Let's see what happens after this. The next day, I was working as usual. I couldn't really concentrate on work. Oh, so he didn't stop her. <laughs> he just let her leave. I guess Shogo went along with the matchmaking meeting, I'm guessing. Thank you very much! I wonder what happened to Mr. Fujimoto. I delivered the bouquet to the office and came back to the shop, so... I don't know how his arranged date went. It's Mr. Fujimoto, so I guess it went well. Maybe he didn't say anything. <laughs> he was just like, oh. I was in the middle of my work, but I was curious about what happened after yesterday. Then the bell of the shop entrance rang. Oh, a customer. Hello. Hi. Oh, you're here. Mr. Fujimoto. It was Mr. Fujimoto wearing his normal clothes. But he looked a little odder than usual. Hello, Mr. Fujimoto. Um, I'm sorry about yesterday. You were working. Were you alright? Um, yeah. I was able to deliver the bouquet and probably get back to work on time. Not like, not like the happy end where she just shrugged off, shrugged off work for the evening. I see. Glad to hear that. Then Mr. Fujimoto went silent. Um, are you here for another bouquet today? Um, no. I have another errand today. Another errand? If he says that, I can't think of anything. Um, an errand other than flowers? <laughs> I don't know, grocery shopping? <laughs> Can you please call your boss? T Takuma? Did he come to see Takuma? Maybe he's got something to ask Takuma. I thought it was weird, but I called Takuma right away. Takuma, you have a visitor. Takuma came out in a rush from the back of the shop. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I have a visitor. Yes. Takuma entered the shop area and looked at Mr. Fujimoto. Hello, Mr. Fujimoto. Is it your day off? You're wearing normal clothes. Yeah. Well, please have a look at the flowers. I'll try to give some discounts to you. Takuma thinks he's here to buy flowers. They greet each other as usual, so I guess it's normal. Um, Takuma, your visitor is actually Mr. Fujimoto. Oh, really? When Takuma heard that, he looked surprisingly at Mr. Fujimoto. I'm sorry for your time while you are working. It's alright, but did I do something wrong? Um, no, I just wanted to talk to her. <laughs> it's like, you're not under arrest, it's okay, Takuma. <laughs> what? Me? Yeah, it's during her work hours, so I thought I should talk to you first. I think I made some trouble yesterday. Then Mr. Fujimoto bowed to Takuma. I'm sorry to interrupt her during her work time yesterday. Aw. <laughs> okay. I guess there, that's, that's closure for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just apologizing for keeping her from her delivery. I was quite late at returning to the shop because I had an incident. So Takuma was very worried. It's alright about what happened yesterday. I was just worried something might have happened. I would have been more relieved if I knew she was with you. Mr. Fujimoto raised his head up. Um, so you're here to talk to her, correct? Mr. Fujimoto nodded when Takuma asked him. I don't mind, but what about you? Do you want to talk to Mr. Fujimoto? I... 
When I looked at him, he looked very serious. But actually, he looked more nervous instead. Sure, I want to talk to Mr. Fujimoto. I see. Then why don't you take a break and talk to him? But my work... It's alright. I'll think of it as an early break. Thank you very much. Then he went to the back of the shop again. There's only two of us in the shop front. Um, as I said before, I want to talk to you, but is it alright? Yes. Mr. Fujimoto looked less tense. It's a little difficult to talk here, so can we change the place? Sure. What kind of stuff does he want to talk about? I felt a little worried, but I followed him out of the shop. He took me to the park nearby his place. I feel a little nostalgic here. So many things happened here. I, fed, I found out when he was going to have an arranged date. I was thinking back over my memories. I sat down on the bench and he sat next to me. What did you want to talk about? I couldn't bear the silence, so I started talking instead. It's about yesterday. It's probably the matchmaking. But why is he telling me this? I've rejected it. Oh, okay. It took him a bit <laughs> of time to tell us, but... I couldn't understand... Oh, wait. <laughs> this is an okay. I couldn't understand what he meant. What? Rejected? You said... Really? Why would I lie? But the girl is someone through his father's connection. That's why Mr. Fujimoto couldn't decline and was troubled. Were you alright rejecting though? Are you worried about me? Well... When I looked at Mr. Fujimoto, I remember him being worried about it before, so I am worried for him. It's alright. I had talked with my father, but I rejected the offer. I was curious about what they talked about, but I couldn't ask him more. And he wouldn't tell me about it anyway. Why would you reject the matchmaking? I couldn't imagine a serious person like him rejecting. Because I've realized I love someone else. The reason was un really unexpected. You love someone else? Well, it's another pathetic story. I found out about my true feelings right before the matchmaking meeting. Her form might have been different, but she was right next to me. Is that... Mr. Fujimoto looked at me with a smile. Apparently, I was in love with you. The way he was telling me was still awkward, but it made me happy. <laughs> made me see like you were in love with the cat. Her form, her form was different. I'm sorry I was late understanding my feelings. Mr. Fujimoto... I was happy about what he said, but I remembered about how much I've been lying to him until now. I looked down out of guilt. I'm sorry to say this all of a sudden. It was too much to take in. When I looked down, Mr. Fujimoto looked troubled again. I mean, I'm happy you told me this, but I've been lying to you until... Mr. Fujimoto went silent for a minute before he started talking again. How do you turn into cat? What exactly happened there? I have decided to talk to Mr. Fujimoto about my curse. It's like a fairy tale, but... While I was thinking that I wanted to be a cat, I was cursed by a black cat, so I would turn into a cat at night. Mr. Fujimoto was listening to my unbelievable story. I see. I didn't know that kind of thing could happen. Can you believe me? It happened to me in reality, but when I say this out loud, it sounds unbelievable. You're not kind of person to make up this sort of lie. So it was a lie? Well, it's true, but... Then it's okay. He started stroking my head as if he was petting me when I was a cat. Anyway, is there anything you can do to break curse? 
That's... I don't know how to explain it. It's embarrassing to explain this. What's wrong? You went silent. Um... I need to kiss my true love. Oh my god, I said it! When I said that, Mr. Fujimoto looked confused. He thought about it for a second, then talked to me with his cheeks blushing. Oh, Um... Good it to be me. Oh, That's still sweet. Huh? As I said earlier, I'm in love with you. If I kiss you, would it be possible to break curse? Mr. Fujimoto's face was completely red and it made me blush too. Um, but... But... If I kiss you, I won't turn into a cat. Would that be alright? He grabbed my hand while on the bench. Whatever your form is, it'll still be you. Then, he kissed me. The curse has been broken. Um, is that voice... The voice I heard was the black cat who cursed me. My curse is gone. What happened? Um, seems the curse is gone, but I feel sad somehow, too. When I think about how I won't be turning into a cat anymore, it's a little sad. And I won't be able to go to his place that easily. Well, I was preparing some stuff too, but so I'm a little sad, but I'm gonna throw away all that cat stuff. Huh? Preparing what? Um, well, I thought it was stray cat, so I was thinking of becoming its owner. He was thinking like that. I'm sorry, you prepared for nothing. Well, don't worry. I did that because I wanted to. You can find another cat, I guess. When he said that, he held his hand out. Don't you need to go back to shop? Oh, I came here for my break. I completely forgot about that. I know it's for work, but it feels sad to leave. Do you want to have dinner with me after work tonight? Is that... Is that a date? I was thinking that. But do you not want it to be a date? I never said that. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is... This is beautiful. <laughs> this is really sweet. Okay, I think I... I kind of like this as like the end. But I don't know. The, this, just, just, this image looks very pretty. Just them holding hands and looking happy. I took his hand. I'm happy that you asked me out on a date. I got up from the bench and said that- uh, said that to Mr. Fujibato. Whoops. <laughs> I actually pushed- pushed the R button. I see you accepted. Alright, press the L button or another. It's a little embarrassing. We'll go to around the time that you get off work. Okay, thank you. He grabbed my hand tightly and he walked towards the shop. Alright, that was sweet. I mean, like, it was very similar to the happy end. It's just like the sense of urgency wasn't there before. Like, at the matchmaking, Shogo didn't stop it right away. It's like, hey, this is the girl that I like. I'm sorry I gotta cancel. He just, like, sort of let Hanoka go. And, like, you don't know what happened afterwards. If he, like, met the girl or not. And, like, just rejected the girl when she popped up. Instead of, like, having his dad call her and cancel it. <laughs> So, like, it was more delayed in that sense, and plus he didn't, like, declare her to be his girlfriend. It's just that, like, this one's like, oh, they're taking it more slow, but it still feels like it's gonna, they're gonna be together in the end. <laughs> so it still felt like the same outcome. There wasn't, like, things that are were up in the air, really. But, yeah, it just kind of felt like the same ending, just... <laughs> The events just played out slightly differently. Alright. That was sweet. That was quick. That was another quick ending. Shogo Fujimoto has very, very quick, quick dialogue. Alrighty, so we just have one more path after this. It's Kiyosuke Kawahara. I don't know when I'm gonna get to it. Um, yeah, it does. 
it does kind of exhaust me <laughs> doing um like visual novel or dating sim LPs because I do get winded <laughs> very quickly even if it's only like 15 to 20 minutes of dialogue I like start getting lightheaded and <laughs> it was worse when I tried to do it in like one burst recording because uh yeah it just I was literally like breaking out in like a cold sweat like oh boy I'm about to faint but I want to finish this uh yeah got all the endings for Shogo, hold hands, or I love you. I think, yeah, either of these, it just kind of felt like the same ending. <laughs> like, both of them were happy. Alrighty, that's that for Shogo. I hope you guys had a nice, fun, and relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode, alright? Oh, bye bye.